Okay, oh, resume here. recording. Now it's recording. There. I okay, paused great. it. Excellent. There go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. I can see everyone is wearing their PJs. Victor, are you eating popcorn, Vic? How did I miss my popcorn? That was such a good <laughs> Um, everyone meet Miss Pendleberry. Hi. Say hi. Miss Pendleberry, she is, um, she, we used to work together in Jacksonville where I used to teach. Um, and Miss Pendleberry has written now four books, Miss Pendleberry? Mm -hmm. Four, yeah. Four books. So Miss Pendleberry, can you please continue? Yeah, so um, I'm actually a teacher too. I teach fourth grade, but I've been teaching the same kids since they were in first grade. So I kind of like to write these books for them so they can have the stories I tell them come to life. Um, so I love being around kids and I love reading my books to kids. Um, so I'm going to be reading this book. It's called Robin Hound. Uh, it's about my dog Gatsby. There's a picture of him on the back and he's here somewhere, but he ran away and he's kind of crazy. So maybe if he comes back, I'll show you guys him for real. Um, so do you want me to start reading? Yeah, but before this, Pendleberry, I need you to know the reason why we are doing this. Can someone please share why we are doing this because they actually won this, Miss Melody. Oh. They won this. Who wants to share why we are doing this? Who knows why we are doing it? Miranda Hernandez. Um, because you and here were friends in Jacksonville and then well, you wanted to share here, so. Okay, good. I like your thinking. All right, but there is another reason why we are doing this, Rodrigo. Um, I think it's because we did our our first story. Aha, uh -huh. and what else? You guys follow directions. You guys have behaved so, 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 so well during class that we have won a read aloud by the one and only Miss Pendleberry. So Miss, um, can you please make me co-host before we yes. start? Let me see if I click on you. Make co-host, okay. Perfect. Does that work? Okay. We are well, congrats guys. That's awesome that you won a special treat. Good job. Um, so I'm going to show, so here's the cover of the book. I'm going to actually share my screen so you guys um, can see. Okay, so can you guys see, Miss Michelle, can you see my screen? Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and read so you can see all the pictures as I read. So this is Robin Hound by Melody Pendleberry, who is... So I can see a Zoom... It says Zoom oh, on it. Let me stop sharing. I think I need to screen share. Okay. There you go. Does that work? Yes. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down and read the book so you can see the pictures up close. Okay. So this book page says that a portion of all proceeds will be donated to the Jacksonville Humane Society. To find out more ways to help, visit jacksonhumane.org. So that's actually a shelter in Jacksonville that takes stray dogs and they help take care of them or dogs that need home. So I partner with them to help those dogs. Okay, this is a story of a dog named Gatsby who had a heart of gold. His tale is one of bravery, the most courageous ever told. He was a fairly ordinary dog, but was kinder than most. He lived with his owner named Trudy and the two were very close. This story begins on a normal day with a very normal walk. Suddenly, Gatsby noticed something strange in an alley down the block. 
While Trudy stopped to chit chat with someone she met last week, Gatsby knew this was his chance to sneak off and really take a peek. So if you see, it looks like his, his leash got undone from his collar, so now he can slip off. The alley was dark and musty with towers of trash all around. Gatsby searched and stayed focused. He knew what he saw would soon be found. Just when he was about to give up, his nose brought him to a pile of trash. After closer inspection, he noticed a small tail start to thrash. Raise your hand if you see the tail in the corner. You see the little tail? Yep. Gatsby flipped open a discarded box and there to his surprise, he found a scraggly dog and they were about the same size. What are you doing here, said Gatsby. This is not a place for a pet. Won't your owner wonder where you are and start to get upset? I have never had an owner, the dog finally spoke up. I live in this alley. I have always been a stray pup. Oh, poor dog. Suddenly, dogs and cats came out of the trash from every which way. They were all so skinny and dirty, Gatsby didn't know what to say. Gatsby felt sad. He wanted to help but didn't know how. He asked, is there anything I can do to help you all now? One of the dogs said, we are all very hungry. There's never enough to eat. We always have a hard time finding enough food while living on the street. Gatsby's mind was made up. He knew he needed to help in some way. He decided he would go home and bring some food back that same day. When Gatsby caught up with Trudy, she didn't even notice he was gone. As they walked home, he thought of his plan to get back to the alley before dawn. See his little light bulb, he's thinking. That same night, Gatsby waited patiently for Trudy to fall asleep. Once she finally did, he searched their cupboards without making a peep. Do you guys see those little cobwebs in the cupboards? Does anyone know if um, that, what that means? If there's cobwebs in the cupboard, what do they think is gonna be in the cupboard? Anyone know? You can unmute yourself if you think. What do you think is going to be in the cover? Nothing. I think spiders. You think spiders? Maybe. Well, I'm not a student, but. <laughs> <laughs> Good guess. Do you think there's going to be lots of food in there? I think, I think that they are going to be nothing. I think so too. Good guess. Let's find out. He searched and he searched, but he couldn't find enough food for the strays. He needed to find a lot of food fast and without any delays. Gatsby wasn't one to give up. He knew he needed to keep trying. He paced around the apartment until his eyes caught the laundry drying. Raise your hand if you know who Robin Hood is. Does anyone know who Robin Hood is? Okay, so look at that costume. Think about what maybe he's going to transform into. There on the clothesline, Gatsby saw his Halloween costume from last year. It was a Robin Hood outfit. His new plan became crystal clear. If he dressed up in this costume, no one would realize he was a pet he could sneak out to the store. It was such a good plan, he didn't even sweat. Do you think people are gonna notice he's a dog or do you think he, they think he's a human because he's in clothes? I think that is a dog. You can see the ears, 
Daniel like a fake room. Yeah, so you think he looks like a dog and people aren't going to believe it. Yeah, let's see. So in the book, in the physical book, these two pictures are, you can see them both at one time. So this lady says, did you see that dog? And then the, can, the, the rest of the scene, the guy goes, huh? And guess he's just running away. There he is at the pet shop and it says close. Gatsby successfully got to the pet store without being stopped. But when he pushed on the doors to get in, he realized they were locked. Hmm. Gatsby stomped his feet and said, I will not be stopped after coming this far. He trotted to the back of the building and saw the door was slightly ajar. So if you don't know what that word ajar means, what do you think it is based on the picture? What do you think ajar might mean? You can unmute yourself. I think the dog is going to go into the doors. That's a good guess. You can see the door slightly open. That he's gonna go in. I didn't get no fit dog is open. Yep, the door is a little bit open. So let's see. Let's see if he gets in. Oh, it looks like it. He made his way in and found a wagon that was easy for him to push. He strode down the aisle and threw in all <laughs> the pet food he could possibly push. He made his way out of the store with his loot and hurried to the strays. But when he turned the corner, he saw two large men blocking his way. Gatsby hid behind a trash can and tried to see who the men could be. He saw that they worked for the pound and they locked a dog crate with a key. Uh-oh. The men walked with the crate back to their truck and drove off out of sight. Gatsby called to the strays and hoped they hadn't run off in their fright. Suddenly, all the strays began to emerge with tears in their eyes. One dog spoke up. We are so scared of being taken by those guys. Hmm. Gatsby knew it was better for the strays to be taken from the street but they didn't realize that they would be safe and have something to eat. They feared being taken and didn't know where they would go. They rather stay in the alley and be hungry because that's all they know. Gatsby suddenly realized the strays didn't just need something to eat. He needed to find them family so they could feel safe and be off the street. He decided, Gatsby, the ordinary corgi, would be no more. So corgi is the type of dog he is. He's a breed, his breed of dog is a corgi. He needed to become the hero to help the dog so poor. Robin Hound would be his new identity. Saving the strays would be his creed. He would help the strays clean themselves up so they could find the homes that they need. That next night, he's back at the pet store. Gatsby knew what he needed to do. Not only did he need food, but brushes and shampoo. He snuck off to the store in his trusty disguise, and he found the front door open, much to his surprise. He walked straight through the entrance and nodded to the man at the front. But Gatsby didn't have time to chit chat and continued his hunt. Does that man look like he wants to chit chat with Gatsby? I think the dog is going to find his friend. Oh, you think he'll find his friends in the store? Maybe. What, what is that man doing? 
Do you know what he's doing with all the Z's coming out of his mouth, Marcella? Sleepy. 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 Sleeping. So he doesn't want to chit chat, but Gatsby doesn't know that. He returned to the alley with his lute and began to make a speech. Today, not only will you be full, but we will find a home for each. He got to work making sure all the animals were washed, brushed, and fluffed. He gave them snazzy new haircuts that made their fur look especially puffed. See, there they are, dirty, and then they're getting all squeaky clean. Gatsby had all the animals assist him in making a flashy sign. In big red letters, it read, animal adoption today, get in line. That's what it says on the sign, animal adoption today, get in line. He dragged it out to the edge of a busy, bustling grocery store. He put the animals in front, making them impossible to ignore. The sun slowly began to rise. They had worked all through the night. The strays sat up straight in their spots and shined their smiles so bright. Gatsby hid behind a corner and watched as people started to crowd his friends. The adoption was a big hit. The line of people seemed to never end. One by one, every dog and cat was picked up and cuddled tight. They had found new homes and would have comfy beds to sleep in at night. Aw, yay, they're all having homes. But wait, after not much time at all, the crowd was finally gone. Robin Hound's mission was complete and he let out a yawn. Just as Gatsby was about to head home, he heard a loud sigh. He looked behind the sign and saw a dog that was missing an eye. The dog had gone unnoticed and no one had taken him as their pet. He was oh so sad and cried and cried until his face was all wet. Robin Hound couldn't just leave this poor pup to fend for his own. He decided to take him home so he wouldn't be so alone. Hey there, little buddy, stop your crying. You're coming home with me. I've got the perfect place for you to live with a girl named Trudy. What do you think Trudy's gonna say? Do you think she's gonna let the dog stay at the house with them? You think so? I see Nicholas. Yes, yes, I think yes. Thank you. Yeah. Too. You do yes. Too? Let's see. I think, I think no. Do you think no? Maybe. I don't know if I would say yes. The pup was so excited. The two started home in a hurry. When they arrived at the door, Trudy's face was one of worry. She didn't know what to do with Gatsby missing all day. But when she saw his new friend, she knew just what to say. Did you run off in your costume to bring back this, this pup? He looks pretty rough and like he needs a pick-me-up. She picked up the stray and cuddled him real tight. I guess it couldn't hurt if he stays for the night. Do you think he only stayed for one night? Absolutely no. no. No, wouldn't that be sad? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Well, that night turned into a week, which turned into a year. The pup, who they called Pokey, now lived a life full of cheer. Robin Hound, the hero, had found him a forever home. And now he had a best friend and was never alone. And that's the end. Um, the dog don't have an eye. Don't have an eye. Ah, uh, the dog is missing an eye. Thank you. That dog was way too cute not to let him stay. I know. So cute. Too cute. <laughs>
I would have adopted that dog. I think so too. Do you guys have any questions about the book? Augustine, I think that's I right. Augustine? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Miranda. <laughs> dog, why the dog stay, stay? Why did he stay? Be because he needed a home. He didn't have a home. Dad. Dad. Wait, you're unmuted, Augustine. Oh. Dad, why the dog was behind the the If there are words you do not know, Augustine, you can say them in Spanish. Yeah. Why? Because the dog was staying in the... In a... ¿En dónde? ¿Por qué el perro se ha del cartel? Estaba. Wait, ¿por qué el perro? I only understood perro, el cartel. ¿Por qué el perro estaba detrás del cartel? Oh, why was the dog behind the poster? Maybe he was hiding because he was sad. Because no one adopted him. Aww. Maybe, or maybe he just got stuck. Well, seconders have a lot of questions. We have more. Um, Joanna, what is your question? What was the dog right a Gatsby? There's the real Gatsby. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your question. How did the dog write the poster? Kind of yes. With their paws. <laughs> or maybe their mouths. Like he could. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, All right. Any questions or comments for Miss Pendleberry? You can also say any comments that you want. Oh, now we have a lot. Was so nice. Did you hear that, Miss Pendleberry? No, I didn't. What was it? I was thinking yeah, that book was so nice. Oh, thank you. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Constanza's sister. I don't know your name. Camila. Ah, Camila. Um, and Constanza. I don't understand how did, like, the girl stayed with the dog, like, didn't her parents notice the um the the stray oh, dog well, or the, the owner? The straight the street dog. Obviously. Oh, they didn't have any owner. It was just a stray no, dog. No, no. Oh. The dad from from the girl. I don't understand. Oh, so is. she lived by herself. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I I never gave her an age, but she was old enough to live by herself. Independent. Yes. Yeah. With Gatsby, of course. All right, Jorge, you have a comment or a question? Um, how much time did you write your book? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so it, it kind of took a long time because I wanted to make sure that it rhymed. So I had to think about how to make sense and how to make the words rhyme the last word of each line. So that was kind of hard. And then when I got the pictures, I had to make sure they were good with the words and format it. So it probably took me like um, four months to write it. Whoa, that's super long. Yeah. And then you, you, when you write a book, even if you go to school for a very long time, you always have little mistakes like spelling 
or grammar or punctuation. So you have to have other people look at it and you have to read things. Okay. Good question. All right, we have Rodrigo. Go ahead. Um, I don't know how the dog, how the dog, Robin Hood thing, how did the dog, dog put it on? How did he put his outfit on? Yeah. He's very talented, so he just shimmied his way in and put it over his head. Because remember, this is a fiction or a nonfiction book? Ah, it is a fiction. Fiction. Yes. All right, Agustin, you have a comment or a question? Go ahead. Dad, can I buy, do you buy the book? Amazon. So, what was the question to buy? If to buy the book in Amazon. Yes, the book is on Amazon. What is the title? It's Robin Hound. So H O U N D. Right. Any other comments or questions for Miss Pendleberry? Oh, Nico, go ahead. Nico has participated so much in this read aloud. Nico. I know. Yeah. I think, I think the dog was in the, in the, uh, the cartel. Behind the poster. Behind mm -hmm. the poster because not some some people not like it. Then the the go and go to a person and if the dog and the person want the dog and they have it. Yeah, that's a good guess. That's probably why they didn't they didn't take the dog. And that's probably why he was behind there. It's a good guess. All right, we have Mila. Go ahead. Um I like the this story. I I want to put off that that book of my house because because I can read that all the day. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm Constanza. Go ahead. Oh, there okay. it is. <laughs> um, you show the book again. For yeah. Take a picture. <laughs> it might be backwards. Do you want me to type it in the chat? The okay. name of it? Okay, I'll type it in the chat. Let's see if I can make sure it goes to everyone. Okay. There it is. Robin Hound. All right, any other questions or comments? Going once, going twice. Mila. And then Miranda Hernandez. Um, I like that that book. I want it. You can, you can, you can say. I can take that book. I like it. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I'm so glad you I'm liked so it. I'm so happy they like the books. I'm so happy. <laughs> I know we do. <laughs> Miranda, go ahead. That. I really like it, the book, the dog. I like it, everything. I like it, Miss Pendlebury. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you came and watched me read it. <laughs> um, Jorge? 
actually it's me oh. <laughs> I, really, I really loved it it's beautiful and and it helps us a lot to to work on on very good values with our kids and i was wondering if you have other books available online or is, is this your first book or um thanks so much so it's actually my third book i have four books that are online the first one is called The Prince and the Pup. They're all about my dog, Gatsby, but they all have a, a good moral message and they're all kind of like fairy tales or fables with my dog. Um, so there's The Prince and the Pupper, Short and Stubby Wins the Race, Robin Hound, and then I just uh, made a new one called The COVID Canine. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So we have to buy the whole collection. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. We have Constanza. Go ahead. I like to hear the book. You liked what? Mm. Like she likes the book and she wants. Oh. oh, thank you so much. I love your hair too. It's so pretty. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Please. I bought it. What? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> so that <laughs> is awesome. <What>? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It comes on Tuesday, on Tuesday 9 p.m. Oh, yeah, it's pretty speedy. Yeah. On Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, any other questions or comments? Um, Mila. Uh, do you know where, where, where is her book? I, I can take off my house. You can, I can take that book, please. Really, I love it. Please, <laughs> yeah, I'd love for you to have it. Yes. Um, Camila. Okay, so she doesn't want to say it, so um, we'll buy it as soon as my mom comes. So yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm so glad. That makes my heart so happy. <laughs> um, Joanna, go ahead. Then I like it, and I si mi mamá me deja, I gonna comprar that book. She says, "Is if her mom lets her, she's going to get the book." Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad. That's a great idea to bring popcorn to this. Good thing. Yeah, I really, you. I really have that yeah. book, and I and I share with all my family that book. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. All right. Um, if anybody has any more, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, thank you all so so much for coming, and thank you so much, Miss Pendleberry. You are so awesome and amazing, and your book is incredible i really really loved it and i know all of all of second grade students also loved your book i mean they are <laughs> I, yeah thank you so much this is so much fun i love doing this i'll come back anytime and read you any book thank <laughs> you i want to say thank I need you thank you, thank you, Ms. Michelle. Okay, thank you. Thank, you. thank you thank you thank you thank you so much voy a llegar tarde, you know? <laughs> okay all right, thank you so much everyone for coming. Bye. Bye, I'm gonna stop. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.